Now that we're actually in September, Rod tells me it's almost archery season. And Rod, you actually went to what a farm that was in Columbiana County last week where they're raising giant deer, raising deer to include giant bucks. We kind of talked about it a little the, bit. The deer are normal size. The racks are incredible. A couple of avid hunters are turning their passion for deer and deer hunting into a lifelong career along with growing those giant whitetail racks. The big one is our yearling. You know, all the years we've been raising deer, he is our biggest yearling we've ever raised. We feel he'll be somewhere around the 225, 225 inch area as a yearling. Corey Thomas and his hunting partner on, Brian boys. Wood have Come been on. raising deer for 12 years now. And what started out as a part-time hobby in 2007 has evolved into a full-time year-round deer farm. We're still learning every day with what we do out here. Uh, all the deer farmers, we all share our ideas. Raising monster bucks is all about quickly discovering if the buck has the genetic potential to become a trophy. We play a big game with the genetics. We explore different genetics from different parts of the country, try the different genetic patterns to create the nicest set of antlers for what, what the industry is looking for. With strict regulations from the state as guidelines, Valley View Velvet Whitetails has grown some huge bucks in the past. This is a points. rack in its fourth year that scored a whopping 356. But now there is a new young buck that could make his way into the deer farm's future, and this no-name buck is a yearling and already boasts 32 points. And there is excitement around the potential this young buck has at such an early age. We've had a lot of interest towards him. Depending on what he produces here next year at two, we may end up doing some advertising with him and uh, offer some live readings to other, some other farms for him. The deer will be tested for TB and other diseases shortly before the natural breeding season begins in the fall. Then they will selectively breed the deer on the farm. Hopes are high for another crop of young bucks to emerge in the spring. But the genetics are only part of the recipe for success. A lot of the potential we have in our farms with our does we look to say about 70 to 80 percent of our genetics come from our doe side. Good quality, high protein feed and low stress are other factors that allow for giant bucks to develop. The deer farm goes for about $300 of food for each of the 40 deer per year. So if you're looking to turn your passion into a long-term career, Thomas advises you do your research on the internet and visit other deer farms. If you're thinking about getting into deer farming, definitely talk to some other deer farmers. Give them a call, look up their farm. You should definitely consult with a deer farmer before you do it. You can eliminate a lot of the issues you have getting started. All right, Rod, pretty cool story there. Look yeah, and there's some of them are in velvet and some of them are coming out of velvet. And that's why you see the different, some are hard antlers and some still kind of look fuzzy and soft, especially that big one. Yeah, pretty cool.